This is a good example of a great uh, soil, a rocky soil. Those have two, uh, the rocks have two reasons to be here. One is they reflect the sun during the night, the heat to the plant, and during the day, it protects the soil from, from the heat. And these dual effects uh, do a lot of uh, great things to the wine. So now in your, we're in your cellar, Philippe Neuswitz, and uh, Philippe, you've been best sommelier of France and of international. In, in 1986 was when I was best uh, sommelier of France and international. And uh, now you're settled in the south of France, uh, where you're a winemaker, a wine consultant. Also. So we're happy today to ask you a few questions on wine aging. Wine aging is rather difficult or not? There are many important elements in the aging process of wine, how to keep good wines in your cellar. Uh, the very important one is the temperature, uh, constant and cold. You need a certain humidity level, not too much, not too little. Um, Vibration-free, this is very important, no, no vibrations. Uh, Odor-free, no special odors uh, nearby. And UV, no, no lights, uh, no straight UV lights uh, into the oh, wine. No Those are the main elements in order to keep wines at your cellar. So you said about uh, aging, that temperature was really important. Can you explain more what temperature should be the perfect temperature to keep red or white wines? For aging, yes. For temperature aging, yes. is maybe the crucial element, the most important one. The temperature for uh, aging white wine or red wine, it's the same for aging a wine, whatever the color of the wine is, you need to be the closest from 12 degrees Celsius. So anywhere between 11 and 14 would be fine, as long as it is constant. Anywhere closer to 12 is the perfect environment for aging wine, meaning aging of uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 years for the best wines you can age. So you've been clear with the temperature of the cellar, but now I was wondering, you need humidity in a cellar also. Yes, humidity is, is very important also in the, in the wine cellar. The uh, aspect of humidity is mainly in relation with the cork. Because on a bottle of wine, the um, outside uh, side of the cork is to, in contact with the environment of the yeah, cellar. Around, yeah. If you have a too dry uh, cellar, the cork will be drying out and there are possibility of the wine to get in contact with oxygen. And when the environment is humid enough, you will have a good contact of the cork to the glass. It will avoid air to come in or the wine to come out. So it is very important to have a good humidity level in the cellar. Can you say what the level of humidity should be? because it's just as important as we, the We think that the best level is between 70-75% humidity. More humidity could um, bring some moisture and, and bad aromas as well as uh, get the labels uh, to, damage to, the yeah, labels. Damage to, mm. to, to the bottle. Yeah. So you handle a um, bottle with care. So in your cellar, I suppose there must not be vibrations around because the wine must be kept still. Is that a true for a cellar? Also? Yes, it is very important not to have any vibration. The story goes that uh, in Paris at the beginning of last century, during the construction of the metro, many wines got bad because of that. So you want um, a place where the wine can rest still, still. and uh, for a few years that's really the best condition. I suppose also that too much light is sort of hurting the wine. What is the perfect light in the cellar? The minimum, uh, barely no light, definitely no daylight, no UV. UVs can go through the, through the wine and really make the wine age very quickly. Uh, this is definitely something when you want to avoid. Um, in a cellar, when you keep your bottles, what do you avoid to keep around your bottles to avoid certain odors to come around? Uh, Surprisingly, certain strong odors can go through the cork and stain the wine. Very strong flavors like uh, fuel, uh, oil, uh, strong cabbages, or the cardboard from the wine boxes, for example, is something you don't want to leave nearby uh, a bottle. You can easily get those. Uh, those uh, cheese. Um, cheese, for example, strong, strong odors, you really don't want to have any, you so avoid. it has to be odor-free. Sometimes even old wooden boxes that are a little bit... Uh, smelly. Yes, smelly could Most be too much, yes. 
Uh, we are here in the perfect cellar, but in my apartment or in, in a villa or in a place where you don't have a cellar, uh, what's your feeling about uh, aging wine? Is it possible? If you don't have a good friend that can uh, learn to your, your cellar or a company that can uh, keep your wines, um, the best way, I think, is to buy a wine cabinet or a house uh, wine cellar that uh, can contain 100, 200 and more bottles uh, in good conditions. They the warranty all the points? All, all the different important. points that I mentioned, yes. The temperature and humidity and, humidity and vibration free for mm -hmm. some more than others. And you keep only wine, that's your recommendation. And you keep definitely only, only bottle of wines, and white, reds, uh, champagne, different kind of wines. And it can age forever? Or? Uh, as long as the wine has the potential of aging, yes. <laughs> Uh, this is the 2006 vintage of uh, Miratus. Uh, very nice wine already, but with a great uh, aging potential. So, uh, cheers. cheers. Sante. C'est bon? Mm -hmm.